hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm just gonna do a quick haul slash swatch review for you so um, a while ago I purchased a load of um, colored acrylics from Neo Nails this is one of them that I've got on now um, so yeah I purchased 18 in total um, and they had I think it's a continuous thing that they've always got on but it was a deal they were I think £3.79 or something like that um, for the seven gram pots and if you purchased four or more then you got a 25% reduction on the cost of each pot so they ended up costing me £2.62 pence in total and because the grand total came to over oh yes over 45 pounds the postage was free right so i've got my monomer here so that's just the nail nails at medium speed my kalinsky sable brush in size 12 it's an edge oh no the edge 10 oval however it's quite big and I think they've got the sizing wrong that's more like a size 12 to me and then these are the pots okay so let's just get straight into it so this first one here is crazy coral you may have seen this being used by other people because it's a very popular one and it's extremely bright and the good thing about these colors is you don't need a lot for it to cover the nail fully. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a very small bead and I'm just going to plop it onto the lid here where you can see it clearly and hopefully it'll stay. So there is Crazy Coral. gorgeous so this next one here is called oh hasn't got name on the bottom but it has on the bag and it's called summer fruit sour so all these powders are really really well pigmented like really well which is why I was saying before, you don't need a lot to get full coverage on your nail. They work so well like paints. Oh, that's actually a really nice deep pinky colour. So that's gorgeous. Love it. So here is the next one, and this is called Glam Gold. Unfortunately, the thing came off the bottom, but that is what it's called. So, oh God, this one's on tight. Wow, look at that. That's a really, really nice gold, like a light gold. Well, that's what I'm hoping it'll look like anyway, because I don't like the really yellowy golds. yellowy gold to me but a bit lighter than some others that I have seen so it's a really really nice colour actually I do love it my mum's gonna be in love with that one she loves anything gold so this one is soft pastel green I love green it's my favourite colour so I have quite a few green things like I'm not a professional nail technician I literally just do this for fun and I just do it on my own nails and some of my family as well and friends obviously 
so this one is a lovely light green very nice for spring which is just starting to show its face really nice So we've got another green here, this one is called Kryptonite, I've already used this, if you watched my last nail tutorial, yeah it would have been my last one, then you would have seen this, and it's gorgeous, it's a really nice shimmery green. see the shimmer very well there yeah you can just but it's beautiful one of my favorites okay so this next one is just their black I mean I know everybody knows what black looks like but I haven't tried it yet so I'm just going to do a tiny little dab and see what it's like. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine because all the others have been fantastic. And again, very, very pigmented. Really good quality. Okay, and this next one is another pink and it's called Pink Champagne. So this one is a glittery one. I have already swatched this one because again, it was one that I really wanted to see. But obviously I'm gonna do it again for you guys. And it's quite transparent as well. But that's really nice, I really like that. Sorry for any background noise that you can hear. And my little boy is playing on his tablet and laughing his head off at something. So, he's cute. So there we go, there's pink champagne. There we are. You can just about see the glitter flecks in there. Very pretty, again. So this one is another favourite on YouTube. I've seen it a lot being used and it's Dorothy's Slipper. So this one is just a clear acrylic with red glitter and it's beautiful. I love it so much. I mean, I love all these colours that I've bought really, to be honest with you. Oh, can't get it right. And there we have it, look at that, it's beautiful, I love it so much, oh, I'm such a girl aren't I, such a big girl when it comes to glitter, oh, what girl doesn't love glitter though right? So this is the one that I have on my nails at the moment, this is called Aztec Copper and I love it, it's such a nice colour, it's beautiful. However, I did notice when I was putting it on, it was a little streaky, but that could have just been my application because, well, like I said, I'm not a pro and I am still learning. So that could have been like liquid to powder ratio or anything really. But again, this is a shimmery one and it's beautiful. There we go. And again, these colours are, are all really in at the minute. So this is another shimmer one. It's a nice purple. And it's called Fairy Godmother. Again, this isn't one that I have swatched yet. So... I have no idea what it's like in the flesh. 
Oh, and it's holographic shimmer as well. Wow. That is really pretty. See, I just think it had like a little silver shimmer to it, but it doesn't. It looks like it's holographic. Let's see if we can pick it up on camera. Oh, yeah, you can. Look at the colours in there. You only just about to see that, guys. I'm really sorry my lighting is so poor. I just haven't sorted out proper light yet for this recording business. How stunning is that? Love it. Love it. This one's another pastel one. So this is soft pastel lemon. And I am not a fan of yellow. So I went for the most subtle yellow I could get, which is this one. And I still don't know if I'm a fan. But hey ho, it's not just my nails that I do. I do do friends and family. So got to have something in your collection for everyone, haven't you? So again, it's just very summery. And you know what? For a yellow, it's not too bad. I could get on board with that. A small amount of that anyway. <laughs> so this one is a gorgeous bluey purple. Really nice one, and it's called Prince Charming. Um... And I think this is just a cream colour. I don't think it's shimmery. Oh, but it's got a thing on it. That's the first one that's had that on it. <laughs> oh, it is a shimmery one. Nice. And again, holographic shimmer. I can see all the different colours in there. you've got the monomer on it it's definitely more blue than it's purple well in the flesh anyway I think it does look a little bit more purple in this light on camera but still absolutely gorge so this is another shimmery one and it is called indigo girl and it's an indigo color And this one is very, very shimmery. More glittery than shimmery, this one. Ooh. And as you put the monomer on, it does go a lot darker again still, which I love because I didn't think it was quite dark enough. Lovely jubbly. That's very nice. I'm really sorry people, but I just don't think my camera is doing these colours justice at all. But yeah, very nice. Okay, so this is the other blue that I got that's not shimmery. Um, this one is marine blue. know that seven grams doesn't seem like a lot you can get this in the bigger pots if you wanted to for like nine pounds something each but for the amount that I do nails I just said you know what it's it's not worth it and to be fair with the amount that you actually need to do a full set of nails if you were doing the color on each and every nail is not a great deal it doesn't make a big dent in it so I think the seven gram ones are plenty, especially for me anyway. That is a beautiful blue. That is absolutely stunning, I love it. It's just nice and simple. Love it. So this is a, another shimmer one. Again, another pink. Sorry, I seem to have bought lots of pinks. Um, 
but you can't go wrong with plain. And this is glazed cherries. Kind of hoping this one will be a bit more of a ready pink. But oh, look at that, it's bright. Very, very nice. Yeah, you can't go wrong with pink. Everybody loves pink. Well, every girl loves pink anyway, I think. Even if they say they don't, they're lying. Deep down inside they do. So yeah, that one is a slightly darker pink, which is what I was hoping for. And it does have a bit more of a ready tone to it. Really nice. So this one again is another cream colour and this is just their pure red. Doesn't look red in the pot though, so I'm hoping when we apply it with the liquid it will be proper proper red because at the minute it looks more pinky red to me. And that's not what I wanted. So yeah, that looks promising on the brush. Okay. So yeah, that is just pure red, as pure can be. It's quite a blood red actually. It's really nice, very vampy. And again, this is another one of the pure colours. So it's just again another cream colour and this is the purple, the pure purple. Oh, another one with that one. So I've only got one more to do after this one. So after how many? After in 18, unless the last one's got one on, two had films on. But you know, that doesn't bother me. Because they've all got these lids on anyway. So they're not exactly going to go anywhere, are they? So, oh, this one is quite a dark purple and it's very, very nice. I love dark purples. Really nice. Oh, beautiful. Look really nice with a fade, with uh, as a fade, sorry, with black. Very subtle. And like I said, this is the last one and this is another bronzy one and it's called Bronze Goddess. So it's a slightly lighter bronze than the copper that I've got on at the minute. And no, this one doesn't have enough film. So yeah, two out of 18 had films. Like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. And yeah, actually it looks like this one is just clear with glitter. Which is absolutely fine by me because I love glitter acrylics. Sorry, out of frame there. <laughs> so there we go, there's that one. So yeah, so it is lighter, but not much lighter, it's just more it's well, glittery. Whereas the other one is just a slight shimmer. But not a huge difference at all in comparison, really. But I still love it. There we have it, guys. Those are all the swatches there for you. Sorry, I know this video is quite long. Um, but there were 18 swatches to do. So, yeah. Love them all. I'm definitely going to be purchasing from Nao Nails colour range again. And knowing me, I will end up having the whole collection at some point. So all in all, these are absolutely fantastic coloured acrylics. They're so highly pigmented. Um, they go on really, really well on the nail. And you don't need to use a lot of product. So you do get a lot for your money, really. And like I said, these were on offer. If you bought four or more, you got a 25% discount on 
every pot so these ended up costing me £2.62 in total and I got free postage because I spent over £45. So thanks so much for watching, don't forget to like as always and subscribe as always, it would mean the world to me and take care guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.